I think that playing this game connects us to our humanity. <laughs> it makes you ask yourself, what would I do for love? That line between justice and vengeance is blurred in this game. Welcome to The Last of Us Game Nights. I'm your host, James Devaney. And I'm Anthony Devaney. Together, we're gonna deep dive the incredible characters of The Last of Us Part Two Remastered. Tonight, we're joined by therapist, TikToker, and founder of The Shawnee Project, Shawnee Tran. Thank you so much for joining. Thank you so much for having me. I am so excited to play this game. Let's dive into the complexities of being a human in The Last of Us Part Two. Pick up those sticks, let's see how we do. Here we go. The characters are so incredible, they drive the narrative forward. <laughs> and for me, that's the number one draw for this game. They're human. I think that's the most important thing is understanding that each character is a human and depending upon how you view each character, it's based on perspective. Ellie and Abby are obviously two of the main characters in this game. Could you give us like a behavioral analysis on, on Ellie? I told her her immunity meant nothing. You know, I feel like we have to pay attention to how Ellie has grown up the world that she has grown up in, knowing that the one secure attachment that she does have and how that impacts her as like a character, as a person, as a human, what drives her, our support systems are very important. Good night, kiddo. And everyone in this world is fueled by loss and trauma. And Abby, she's lost the loved ones of her life. And so even though our characters, they do brutal things, they're informed by the trauma of their past and the yeah. brutal world that they live in now. No! No! Definitely one of those things that we have to think about as far as what someone has been through. Because when it comes to how we respond to different aspects, or different events in our lives. We think about like risks and protective factors when it comes to traumatic events. Each character has gone through different things and they're not all the same. Does the trauma that both Ellie and Abby specifically have, does that justify in their motivations for achieving their objectives by any means necessary? I don't know if I would use the word justification, but I would say knowing what they've gone through, we have to think about how that changes their brain. When you experience trauma, your decision-making can be irrational. And when you're fighting someone and you're trying to survive, you are thinking about you. You are thinking about how can I survive this? Is it justified? I don't know if that's the word, but we have to think about the decisions that they're making based on what they have experienced and how it's impacted them. Who are we in deciding who is the hero and who is the villain? It gets blurred here. It can get blurred. And you also think about what has happened in your own life that makes you connect with the different characters. I think Abby's, when we see the memories of her past and the source of her trauma, this, we see what she used to be in terms of just a normal person, just young teenage girl, somewhat happy life in this world. But then we see another side of her where she's turned herself into this brute physical killing machine because that's the source of her trauma has turned her into this other person and that's just out for revenge. And I think it's a great question for people to ask themselves, like, this thing has changed us, this event has changed how we view the world, how we see things, the decisions that we make. And there's something big about this game. Everybody is fighting for something deep inside, and this game does a great job of showcasing the starkness of life and the brutality of a world like this, highlighting love and peace and family. Talk to me. 
For me, with Ellie, a really revealing moment while you're in Abby's shoes is seeing what she's done to people. And it really, as a player, gives you a different perspective of when you're walking in Ellie's shoes and you're all on her side. Every action for you is meant to happen, it's supposed to happen. But then when you're Abby and you see what Ellie's done from her perspective, it kind of changes you as a gamer. Can I forgive what Ellie's done after seeing the ramifications of that action? That helps you understand the moral gray ambiguity of right and wrong. And that line between justice and vengeance is blurred in this game. It increases our capacity to love. It can be one of those turning moments of, am I worthy of love? Like, am I deserving of this type of love if you haven't experienced it? Because that means that when you choose to be loved, you choose vulnerability. <laughs> we look for connection. We are a species where we do not do well alone. We're not meant to be alone. And so I think that playing this game, it connects us to our humanity. There's just something very beautiful and a great story. PlayStation.